to remove that eye and remove that pellet. The bird did show signs of lead poisoning, so there's a possibility that that pellet that was in the eye, and the eye was already destroyed, was leaching lead into the bird's system. So we had to remove the eye. It underwent two rounds of chelation, which is a process by which we chemically remove lead from the system. Um, and that seems to have done the trick. The bird has no sign of uh, any significant lead poisoning now. It's active, it's eating, it's flying, it's doing okay. Right now we're banning him for release. We're going to put a federal ban on his right leg and a alphanumeric band on his left leg that will be easy to spot for identifying him in the air. So the bird was illegally shot. There's an active investigation going on. State Fish and Wildlife uh, law enforcement will um, try to find the perpetrator and that's hard to do unless someone turns themselves in or someone saw this happen. It's not likely that we'll, we'll find who did this. Um, that's not what we do here at the Raptor Trust. Our goal is to help the bird and in this case, we were able to do that. But today we get to take uh, a bird that was injured because of some human activity. Um, sort of, uh, it's a shame that that happened, but we're gonna get this one back into the wild. And that's the goal, whether it's a sparrow or a finch or a robin, but when it's an endangered species in the state and significantly our national emblem, this is a, this is a win.